In the springtime and after the rainy season, we end up with what's called a vernal pool. Uh, vernal pools occur um, in the springtime and once things get, start getting wet, they pop up out of nowhere. Um, a lot of endangered species associated with them, um, both with the tadpoles, the amphibians, and along with the crustaceans and the plant life associated with it. And it's extremely cool to have a vernal pool on, a, on and around a landfill. Um, there's so few of these remaining. It's just so unheard of to, to have a resource like this located next door and, and in and around our operations. And so I get to go out and wear my big orange vest and make sure that the bulldozers go around them. Trucks want to come through an area where there's not a lot of tall vegetation that's going to keep them from going through. So we have to be aware of where they are and make sure that our guys stay out of these areas. Where do vernal pools exist? They like flat surfaces in Southern California and the most prime real estate to build, whether it be a road, a business, a commercial, or, or a home is on the flat surfaces. We've got all kinds of good things going on down here. We've got lots of invertebrates in the pools, copepods, ostracods. The fairy shrimp come out and once they, they hatch out of their cyst, um, they start to feed. Um, they feed on the, the algae and things that are in the pool. The way they swim um, brings water across their, their, their mouths and their feeding structures and that's how they eat. But the amount of places throughout the world that they're even found is so, so small. Um, they're only found in Mediterranean climates, they're only found on mesa tops that have been built out, so there's so few remaining that it's such a resource that this is an extremely important part of that whole cycle. Mm -hmm.